Alright, getting ready for the hardest paved week, I think, at Slinger. Uh, gonna be very difficult. Watching Mr. SRX himself, Billy Roberts, out here. And, uh, I don't, I don't know if they're in third gear or not. I haven't touched fourth because I'm just overdriving the corner like, uh, you do on dirt if you stay in a higher gear. So I'm just running third. It is getting loose though, so I'm going to have to watch my throttle inputs and be smart with that. I'm also, I don't need to try, like... My fastest lap in practice was me not trying, and so that tells me that I'm way overdriving things. So we're just going to hopefully get into a rhythm, have a good starting spot, and get around this track that I am so bad at. But uh, hopefully a good cue. we got a really good group. We do 11-9. I, I, I can't be mad about that. That's about as good as I could have done. I know it's a little cloudier out. So we got uh, a bit more speed, but... And everyone's qualified. Awesome group. We're just moving on. A minute 30 to qualify. No one just sitting there looking at the results. So, Mr. SRX on pole. And we are fourth outside of Gavin. We got Chad and Austin behind us. <laughs> Dirt Gavin. I just, I don't understand where, I mean, it's not even that, like, big of a difference. Like, everyone is right on top of each other. It's just, it's just funny that Dirt Gavin is as bad at paved as I am at dirt. There's just always, always that gap that I can't close on dirt and he can't close on pavement. But, we expect to be fighting one lap podium. doesn't mean anything here. It's all about, uh, can you put together 60 Everyone laps without cautions? And, uh, this could be interesting. This could be fun. I could be a disaster if prediction code is bad. But they did put a fix out. So we'll see what that's done. But I think our speeds are going to be slow enough as well that it shouldn't be too big of an issue. It's going to be more about not getting tight and hitting the outside wall. And not self-spinning in third gear out of the corner. One to go. Next time by, get ready. Go but this green. is about as good of a group as you could ask for. Practically a league race. And, uh, if we can't be clean, there's probably not going to be a clean race out there. I nearly just drove it into the wall, and I'm shifting up to fourth. What am I doing that for? Alright, we're clear. Drop in here. Be smart on throttle. Austin's gotten cycled up on the high side he hasn't been able to get down so he's losing a few spots behind us billy's getting early pressure 12.223 we got a little bit of room and we got chad behind us who i don't think is gonna chuck it in on us but not even gonna worry about session best i know i'm gonna get slower as this race goes on I'm just going to treat it like the paved sprint. And we got down too low, too early there. That hurt us. Everyone going fast behind us. Ooh, Chad gets a little loose. Chad gets really loose. I don't know if he got any help there, but that opens the gap up. I know he didn't have much luck here last time on week 13 when he raced with Gavin because it looked like he was doing the figure eight course. 
but I think he got loose, and then he might have got loose again out of two and got hit. So, should only be ten minutes left in this race. Gavin sets fast lap. We hit the wall. Yeah, and we're getting slower. That has nothing to do with sticking it in third. I assume everyone else is in third. It just has to do with me not getting it to turn out of four, overdriving the center of it, not taking a big enough arc. But it's so hard to get it pointed in the correct direction. Austin and Dirk Gavin are just back there behind Bobby. Lap traffic is coming up. We really drove it into the wall all on our own. Just stopped steering loose there. Uh oh gotten a little less dirty behind us. What has happened to Dirk Gavin? Did he just get passed or did he have a moment? Billy's still getting a little pressure but he is Mr. SRX. As long as he can get through this lap traffic, I don't know if there's much that you can do to get around him. 1.8 behind us. Just remember that and we'll take a look at it in a little bit. Alright, 1.9. Knock my right front off on that wall. I backed it down even more, and it seems like we've all of a sudden started catching Gavin. But we got Warren ahead of us. We know he'll give us room once we get there. As long as I don't hit the wall before we get there. I'm going to slow it way down here, just so that I don't push up into him, but he backs off so that we don't even have to try to come off of four side by side. Oh no, Billy has lost the lead, and well, as I'm looking at that, I just knocked the wall down. And I think our right front is completely broken. We got damage on the front end. Well, just body work somehow. Looking at F3 and not paying attention out of four. Very dumb. Austin, though, giving Bobby behind us a little bit of... Jesus. This is my Stafford. Like, as much as Gavin hits the wall at Stafford, I hit the wall, like, five times as much here. Almost halfway. need to back it all the way down. We've got such a massive gap. I wanted to catch Gavin, but that's just not going to happen. He's in cruise mode now. Billy's lost the lead somewhere through traffic. I'm going to try to take a look at where that happened. we got Brett up ahead. Coming up on top light, yep. 12.58 I just gotta stop getting so low so early. 
0.555. It's definitely messed up the steering a little bit, so... That is not good, but I'm sure we're not the only one that's knocked it down. Who knows, though? We're not going fast enough through the exit of two. Warren's got a little bit figured out. He's starting to get a little faster. He might have only just got caught up in Chad's spin. And that's why he ended up getting lapped, so he was just losing time letting leaders go. Such a weird track, though. It just, it's so much different than everything else. The corners are just so tight. It's that old, bouncy, awkward, not very smooth surface. Just caught a threat of position there. Warren's figured it out now. He's going to be mad he even let us go. Although he's really driving it off into... He's really driving it off into three and getting it to turn, so... Good on him. No idea how he's doing that. If I slide up any bit off the bottom in three and four, I just go to the wall. God, I feel like we're faster than Gavin, but we're just never going to get there. Warren is hauling ass. Alright, Gavin just grabbed the wall. Warren's chasing down Chad. Chad's trying to stay ahead of me so that Warren doesn't essentially get a free pass like he did on Brett. But I'm slowing Warren down. I just don't know how he's entering that corner so hard and getting it to turn. Chad has a moment, slides up the track just a little bit. Now he's putting pressure on Gavin. This is just a weird multi-class race here. I'm not saying we're in different classes, but they just happen to be a lap down. And Chad's going to let us go. Thank you. He's going to lose the spot because of it. Yeah, he might be able to fight back for it, but Warren's going to have that inside line. Gets him. Alright. Can we track down Dr. Pepper? We've got nine laps. Not going to happen. Not gonna happen, especially when I have a corner exit like that trying too hard. Got Dante and Dirk Gavin up here racing. Warren's still making me feel slow every corner. Gavin is going to start getting checked up a bit by these guys racing for position. Oh, Dante almost gets into Dirt Gavin trying to cross back over. It's going to kill our exit, having to try to keep it down there. Nothing he could do, though. He's racing. Warren's just uh, 
using our slow car as a way to get around everyone that he's much faster than following us through. Dirk Gavin's not going to want to get lapped by us. I made it a goal to try to lap him in a race after he lapped us in a dirt race. He's only got to hold Gavin off for two more laps. Ah, we're going to wipe him out if we tried that. We don't beat Gavin and we don't lap Dirk Gavin. But we got there. We got close. Had a nice clean race other than driving it into the wall and get P4. Billy comes home second. All right, uh, 92.95. Gavin, 93.93. So, uh, it's kind of weird that we started catching him there. Let's go take a look at what all happened. So there might not be too much. Yeah, Chad just got a little bump there, and then, oh, Warren got sent around there, that's why he, man, I think if Warren hadn't got sent there, he was probably going to catch us and pass us for a position. Here's this idiot driving into a wall, oh, one of the times. Bobby drives up to the wall, I've never had an issue with that wall. Oh, Dirk Gavin. Big loose on exit, but only loses a spot there. Here's our bad one. Way too... No, that's not even our bad one yet. Diet Gavin gets the wall. Yeah, way too early on throttle into the wall. Brett. Just a wall tap. Yep, let's see how Billy lost the lead. I think he just gets past. Oh, he gets a little loose there. He's got to try to catch it. And that... That's all it took. Just that little moment. Warren, like his, so it wasn't here, but like right around this point, he just starts flying, and his three and four was, like he just got it to kick perfectly right in the center, so he could enter harder, and then get that kick, and he's just flying around. Nothing happening here. Uh, I think it, nope. I thought it was broke. I think it's just the car is bottoming out. Chad and nope. Dante. Let's just see. So Chad throws it in because Dante got loose there. He hits the apron. Dante coming down just a little bit, and there's still a little bit of prediction code, but it wasn't the weird hook like to me that looked normal not like all the other right rear hooks but still wish that there wasn't that much issue with it but I think that was going to happen no matter what with the angle they were out of the corner all right let's take a look at the results we gained 29 I rating and 0 .03 safety rating Gavin with the fastest lap and, uh, well, 
two incidents for us. Not a whole lot of incidents out there. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.